Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants from Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomat, and I'm here to rant a little bit and talk about what's on my mind right now. I'm still dealing with some hoarseness from the flu, but I will do my best to get through it because there's some topics that have been popping off that I want to talk about. Caitlin Clark. I love Caitlin Clark. I think it's known by now that I'm a fan of Caitlin Clark, but I'm also a fair observer. Caitlin Clark has been playing well. Has she been playing great? No. But right now, there is another, there is the, the, what is it called? The the elephant in the room is everyone else has something to say about her, no matter what she does. And the narratives are being created by people in national media, on podcasts, on, I mean, players. Most recently, Jamel Hill from the Atlantic. If you don't remember Jamel Hill, she used to be on ESPN. She's been on a number of networks. She's been a, uh, she worked for the Orlando Sentinel at one point. She is one who likes to stir shit up. And she likes to stir shit up with typically ridiculous comments. Most recently, she attributed Caitlin Clark's success to her race and her sexuality. We would be all very naive if we didn't say race and her sexuality played a role in her popularity. While so many are happy for Caitlyn's success, including the players, this has had such an enormous impact on the game, there is a part of it that is a little problematic because of what it says about the worth and the marketability of the players who are already there. Get the hell out of here. Do you think heterosexual people are watching the WNBA because Caitlyn Clark is heterosexual and likes guys? If you think that, you're out of your mind. I have not watched one Caitlin Clark game asking, is she straight or is she gay? Because I don't care. And most people do not care. People watch sports because they want to see things that people, people themselves can't do. People are watching Caitlin Clark because Caitlin Clark has a shooting ability from the perimeter that no other female in basketball has not in the WNBA not in college she's doing stuff that no other female has been able to do that's why people are watching her has nothing to do with her sexuality I couldn't care less now yes has the WNBA made a point to market their sport to the lesbian community yes they have they've been marketing to the LGBTQ community forever which is a smaller population than the non-LGBTQ LGBTQ community. Maybe you should market your sport to everyone and not just say that our sport is for gay people. That might be an idea. Marketing 101, not complicated. Does the NBA market their sport to the LGBTQ? No, they market their sport to everyone. The men's league markets to everyone. They don't care. They want everyone to watch. <clears throat> so, yeah, no, I, I will not subscribe to this sexuality thing. Because number one, I wouldn't say that Caitlin Clark is, looks like Cameron Brink. Cameron Brink lo- lo- looks like a model. The girl from Tennessee looks like a model. Rikia Williams, I think it is. Like those women look like models. Now, to the commentary of race. This one pisses me off. And this is the one that's been pissing me off for quite some time because this is a commentary that is just so... It's, it's beneath someone like Jamel Hill and the fact that she brings it up makes me sad because she's supposed to be smarter than that. Because if she's actually been watching the WNBA, which clearly she has not been, she would know that the WNBA has been promoting and marketing athletes for 25 years. 27, in fact. If you recall... The initial people that they were marketing were Rebecca Lobo, Cheryl Swoops, Don Staley, Lisa Leslie. Three of the four of those are black women. Do you remember when Shamiqua Holdsclaw came out of college? They pushed Shamiqua Holdsclaw big time. She was considered the best player in the world. And then she had problems and didn't live up to the hype that she had in college. 
Sue Bird. Last I checked, she's white. They market the hell out of Sue Bird. Nobody cares. Kelsey Plum, she's white. They marketed the hell out of Kelsey Plum. Nobody cares. Sabrina Ionescu, she's white. They marketed the hell out of her. Nobody cares. Brianna Stewart, she's white. Marketed the hell out of her. Nobody cares. People aren't watching Caitlin Clark because she's white. Could there be a small section of folks that do? Sure. But the mass majority of people watching Caitlin Clark don't care that she's white. They never have. And they damn sure don't care that she's from Iowa. It's irrelevant. Who gives a shit what, what state she's from? It doesn't matter. They tried their market. Did I say Diana Taurasi? She's white. Nobody cares. The reality is you have to be a likable person. You have to be endearing to the fan. You have to be able to do something that people haven't seen before. That's why Steph Curry is so popular. Because Steph Curry does something that no one else can do. He's changed the actual, the entire league the way it looks today. Some might say for the worst because I can't stand the way the NBA plays today. And that's largely his fault. But that's his fault because he has a skill because he's six foot two and he needed to be able to shoot because he wouldn't survive at 170 pounds as a guard in the NBA. But the fact of the matter is, Brittany Griner, they marketed. Didn't work. Maya Moore, didn't work. Skylar Diggins, didn't work. There's many players. They're trying to market Jewel Lloyd now on State Farm commercials. No one knows who she is. Caitlin Clark has a skill. She has an ability that no one else has. No one else has. That's what it is. She's likable. Diana Taurasi comes off like a curmudgeon. People know who Sue Bird is because of her girlfriend or wife, Megan Rapino. People know who Brittany Griner is because she spent a year in a Russian prison. This is reality. The WNBA has tried to market people for years, and they have failed. The WNBA does not have to market Caitlin Clark. She's marketed herself for them. She did it for them. College basketball, the NCAA, women's tournament, did it for them. All they got to do is keep it going because it's already been done. Caitlin Clark has a fan base. A massive fan base. And yet you have a reporter like Jamel Hill making out outrageous comments like this about race and sexuality. Has anyone ever said that an NBA player wasn't loved because of his race and sexuality? Kidding? Maybe 50 years ago, not today. Not today. What are we doing, man? Journalists are going to this level and they're acting like as if they don't know what's gone on for years in the WNBA. They've been trying to market these players for a long time. Nobody cares because they're not good enough. They're not skilled enough. They can't make jump shots. They shoot at a horrible clip. The average WNBA team shoots 4% lower than an average NBA team. And that's with a smaller basketball. A smaller ball. And they shoot an average 4% lower. And none of them are shooting the ball from 30 feet. Just last night, Caitlin Clark hit a 33-footer and a 28-footer to help Indiana get their first win in the last two and a half minutes of that game. No one else would have made that shot. Anyone else that shoots that ball in the WNBA shoots an air ball. They don't have the range. They don't have the ability. People like Caitlin Clark because of her ability, her skill. And she's likable. And she's not likable because she's white. She's likable because she has a skill that people like. 
Men don't like watching layups. Men don't like watching missed layups. Men don't like watching the ball fumbled all over the place. And the crowd that you want remains men. And you can't get it until you have players worth making us, players who make us want to watch. But this crap about race and sexuality, the fucking league, (laughs) the fucking league is like 80% lesbian. I'm guessing. So what are you talking about sexuality? The most marketable track and field athlete in the world right now, female, is Shikari Richardson. Shikari Richardson's a lesbian. And she is the most marketable and most popular female track athlete in the world today. And the cameras are on Shikari Richardson at all times. So are you telling me that Shikari Shikari is a Shikari Shikari Richardson? And Shikari Richardson does not come off as very likable. She comes off with an attitude. But she's so damn good at what she does. These are facts. Why isn't Jamel Hill talking about that? Why isn't Jamel Hill asking why Shakira Richardson magically is the most popular female track athlete in the world right now? Yet she's black and a lesbian. But in basketball, it's not the same. No, it's because Shakira Richardson is that goddamn good. And the women's basketball players just aren't. If you don't like it, fix it. You know how you fix it? Get better at your sport. Start shooting jump shots from the parking lot. Start practicing shooting jumpers from the parking lot. Start picking passes like Caitlin Clark makes. That she could be ranked, that she's fourth in the league in assists right now, six games in as a rookie. But yet, that's the narrative that national media members are pushing. And they're going to keep pushing it. And you wonder why people will feel a certain way. Because they have people that are supposed to be intelligent, like Jamel Hill, supposed to be intelligent, making outlandish and ridiculous comments like this. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.